Rock Hopper here, and today I'm gonna walk through a mountain. Let's get started. All right, we are getting inside the mountain. We gotta turn on the flashlight now and see where we're going. Going through these timbers, holding up everything, supports. Oh yeah, duck your head. Say goodbye to the outside world. Here's where we're going. We're heading into the abyss, into the deep darkness of the noonday mine here in the California desert. And what is this over here? Let's have a look. Uh, looks like maybe they hung their coats up in here, the miners. That's uh, not much else in here, really. Nicely preserved set of rail tracks here through this shaft. Let's go to the right here and see what this thing is. It's back here. Uh, Get some supports. This doesn't go anywhere. Nope, that just goes down there a ways. Not much there. Head back out. Continuing onward. Another little side tunnel there. Doesn't go anywhere. Got some kind of pipeline down here. Yeah, metal, metal pipeline. All right, up ahead, we've got an arrow. Couple arrows, Let's see. One arrow pointing that way. Something this way. Yeah, a little railroad track, check that out. Had little mining cars going right through here. See those tracks? And, uh, yeah, this went somewhere for sure. We were digging things out of here on this. Oh, another little shaft right there. And this place is full of mining shafts. Oh, it looks like we have a little, uh, this is where maybe they loaded up the the mining carts and uh, yeah the rocks and stuff tumbled down through here into the carts I would suppose uh, what else is back here oh, another one of those little loaders I guess and uh, oh, just keeps going a little side shaft there Another arrow pointing this way. And uh, some more woodwork here. No, got a rather spacious room right here. Yep, nothing there though. Just, uh, yeah, just a big dugout room, I guess. Forging on ahead, some more wood beams, supports. Yeah, they got a, oh, look down there. Yep, you don't want to fall down there. No. Nice even temperature in here. Very comfortable being underground. Another little, this to be a loading platform maybe. Yeah, it just keeps on going. Oh yeah, look at this. Ooh, better be careful right here. 
Yeah, you don't want to fall through there. Oh, no, you don't. Not a good idea. That's a long drop. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, we'll be careful crossing these. What's over here? Just another little hole. Yep. And we'll cross these and continue. Oh, uh, look overhead. Yeah, that looks pretty, uh, pretty unstable, I would say. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right, carrying on here. Down below, you can see the little railroad ties. What's left of them, anyway. The little mining cart that would have gone through here. You got some spikes. Old spikes right there. Uh, look up in there. Another little rail spike there. Starting to twist and turn a little bit here. Well, piece of wood stuck up in the wall. And the rock. Yep, another little side shaft there. Let's just take a minute here, take a few seconds here. I'm going to shut this flashlight off. I'm going to hear what total silence and see what total darkness looks like. Yeah, that's what it's like. Another one of these loaders here, I guess. Okay, Clyde. You can see these bore holes where they drilled into the rock. Several of those around here. Look at the way that rock is supported right there with those beams. Looking up in there for a sec. Piece of wood with some wire on it right there, sticking out of the rock. Watch your head. What do we have here? Hmm. Another little side shaft. Got some ties down there. A little loader thing maybe right there. Uh, another thing right there. Oh, another. Man, this place is just full of tunnels. That's why these people painted the arrows, so you don't get too lost. We got some track right there, and another little side shaft back here. Got some more rail ties and some railing there. And it looks like this just kind of peters out. Yep. This is just a side shaft where they were digging. And it pretty much ends right here. So we will turn back. Okay, back in the main shaft, at least one of them. And there's your arrow. We'll continue this way. 
and see what we can find. More timbers, more sports. Wedged in there tight. Oh, wow, another side shaft, huh? All right, might have to check that out. I don't know how far back this thing goes. Probably just peters out like the last one. I guess we'll find out real fast here. Well, what do we got? Well, that goes up there a ways. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so this thing is getting a little bit lower overhead and a little bit narrower. I think this will probably peter out, but who knows? I think we're back in the same... Oh, there we are. We are in the same place indeed with Clyde. Okay, it's just another little way of getting to the same place. How about that? Going through the main area. Got a little pile of dirt here. Getting through the main shaft. Watch your head. Timber's up ahead. Some kind of pipe there. Swat me, I'm a fly. Okay then. Little side shaft there. Looks like that partially collapsed maybe or something. There's no... Don't see any railing there, but doesn't mean there wasn't any. Hmm. Well, I don't know what that's about. What do we have here? Oh, another side shaft, huh? Well, I don't think this one goes anywhere. Well, there's some more stuff back there, even. This place is just filled with tunnels to explore here in the Noonday Mine. And I think this just ends right back there. Yep, that's it for that. We'll head back out. Look above, right up in there. Yeah. Lots of supports up in that way. More stuff going through the main tunnel here. People that have written their names who have been here before. Continuing on through the main shaft. Some more railroad tracks there. Mining car tracks. Another arrow pointing you the way. Well, what's this? Okay, you do not want to go down there. Uh-uh. You would have a heck of a time trying to get back out of that. We can go around it, though. I don't think this goes very far. Uh... Nope. That is it for this side shaft. Back in the main tunnel here. Well, somebody says, boil me, I'm an egg. Okay, what do we have here? Grind me, I'm a valve. Alrighty then. What's that say? Row me. I'm a boat. And looking up here. Uh, looks like that goes a ways up in there. Good luck trying to scramble up in there. You could, but I don't think we're going to do that. Continuing on. Got some good rails here. And uh, decent clearance. Most of the time, probably about almost six feet. Look at this. We're coming up to a split. 
left or right? The arrow says go to the right, but we can have a quick look at the left as well if you want. Might as well since we're here, right? Yeah, just more, more the same. Oh, an arrow says out that way. Just connects with the tunnel to the right. Got some more railing in here, as well as more graffiti. And what is this? What do we have here? Uh, looks like we've got a couple of Dos Equi beer bottles and a couple of shot glasses. Hey, why not? Have a party. And what are these, uh, what are these newspapers? Wow. Let's check this out. These things look really old. Man, this is like... I don't know, look at those... Uh, those dresses and stuff. This is like from... Wow. Okay, look at that, right there. 1905, 1911, 1913, 19... 19... 1919. So this is probably a newspaper or something from the 1920s, maybe? Wow. That is cool. Let's, let's have a closer look here. Right there it says Edmund Frederick, 1919. So this paper is probably from 1919 or 1920. And yeah, look at the look at the illustration. Look at the clothing and everything. This is definitely really old. And uh, look at I turn this one over. Look at the car. That thing is what, 19, yeah, probably about 1920. And another little car right there. And look, look at this fashion. What's that? Wow. Oh, that's funny, look at that. The headline is, Why Men Have Better Taste in Dress then women. And then they show the silhouettes of the years gone by. 1819 there. I guess all the way to the... Probably was the present. 1919. And there's uh, some woman in some kind of garb right there. How interesting is that, finding that in here? We'll leave that uh, alone for a minute and head on this way and see if there's much anything down here. Nope. Not really. And then you go this way. Looks like we're back to the main shaft or I don't know. What is all this? Uh, let's get up there and have a look. I got some uh, artifacts here. Looks like some old gloves. Uh, an old bucket or something right there. Some kind of lid right there. Um, what's that? Some paint can or something over there. Hmm. What is this thing? Ah, uh, it's just an MRE. Meals ready to eat. stuff back here. Well, there's a ladder. Huh, where's that thing go, I wonder? Well, let's have a look. Heading up. And... 
Well, mm, appears to be the end of it right there. Looking down, what's that say right there? 1923? I think so. Another little side tunnel here, a couple of them. Some kind of paint can or whatever that may have been. Maybe a tin of beans or something. Who knows? Uh, another tin down there. Yeah, and you can look down in there. It goes for a little ways down in there. Continuing down in here, and that looks to be the end this way. So we'll turn around and head back to the main tunnel. Oh, there's a another little can right there. Heading back toward the main tunnel. Looking up the side shaft there. Okay, we're back in the main tunnel. Following the tracks. Something down there. An old can of some kind. Oh, another little, uh, that's probably where we were. Down in here. Yeah, it just cuts across, I think. Or not. Yeah, what do we have here? Pieces of piping. Um, something right. The old. Yeah, we just saw it from the other side over there. So it's the same place. Ladder and all that. Back in the main tunnel again. Probably walked a. I don't know, half mile or more. Just exploring so far. Okay, we're back to boil me, I'm an egg. Noonday, Noonday Mine, that's this place, all right. Okay, so we're back on track, heading in the right direction now. After doing a little bit of exploring there, mucking around. I think I see a little daylight up ahead. I think we're getting close to going entirely through this mountain. Yeah. What's here? Yeah, another little loader. Looking up there. Yeah, so it looks like uh, turn the flashlight off now. See what's out here. Ooh, it's bright out here all of a sudden. Wow, I need a minute to adjust to the daylight. This is where the mining cars were, a little trestle. Looks like it was there and uh, kind of look at it that way to where there was a mine. Some sort of a, what looks to be a boiler right there. Yeah, some pieces of wood. Some piping, some concrete work there, and right there is the tunnel we came out of. We should go back in. We got to go in anyway to get to the other side, but early on there was that other mine shaft. Let's maybe take that, see where that thing ends up going. Yeah, check it out. Let's go. Back in we go, into the darkness once again. I think we walked about a mile getting from one end of the tunnel to the other. Okay, we're heading back out to where we started, and we're going to do a little exploration of some of these side shafts here for just a little bit, see what's in them. Got some cable and some piping among the 
timbers and what looks to be somebody's underwear. What were you doing in here? Some old tin there. What does that say on there? Let's see if we can read that. Quality. What's that say? Qualify something or what? I don't know. Can you read it? Quality insurpassable something for media whatever. Let's step over that. See what's back here. Does that say dead end? Okay, so there's nothing back there, just dead ends. Even though it says dead end, let's just have a look anyway. You never know what you might find. Couple cans, one looks to be really old, one looks to be fairly recent. Yeah, this dead end tunnel goes quite a ways. Just keeps going and going. For a while, anyway. Well, what do we have here? Shiny, sparkly rocks. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on some of these rocks as I move the flashlight around. But they are pretty sparkly. Kinda cool. Sparkle, sparkle. Come on. And yes, it is definitely a dead end. As we were told. So we'll turn back. As we leave the dead end, where it connects with the main shaft, you can see some pretty big timbers there. So we'll continue on to get out toward the beginning of where we started. And there it is. There's the beginning. That's where we started. We first came in the tunnel. And there's another little... There's our first post. Now, remember we looked at that. And this was a little turn to the right. Now this may or may not go anywhere. Well, no, it doesn't really go anywhere at all, does it? Not really. Mm, so I guess it wasn't much of anything. So we'll head back out in the daylight. Duck your head. This is definitely low clearance right through here. Let's head back out. Boom, daylight. Very bright after being in total darkness. Except for the flashlight. I hope you enjoyed going deep within the earth in the noonday mine out here in the California desert. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be informed every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like on my videos, and share these videos with all your family and friends. Until next time, this is Rock Haver. Yeah, I'll see ya.